this is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can trace an image to create these simple line style logos using Adobe Illustrator. But before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about logo design, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I outline my entire creative process for coming up with logo ideas and implementing them from start to finish. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Illustrator, I want to create a new document and I'm going to size it at 1024 by 1024. You can actually size yours at whatever you like. I just like to use that size. It's a good, nice, symmetrical uh, size right there. And what I want to do first is just set up the workflow so that we're all working with a similar setup as you see here on my screen. So I want to come up here to where it says View. And make sure you don't have anything enabled in this View menu up here. So if you have something like Smart Guides or Snap to Grid or Snap to Pixel, go ahead and disable those all right now. And then you're going to want to choose Window over here where it says window, you're going to want to have these things enabled. Control, Align, Color, Layers, and Pathfinder. And that's going to be these menus over here, which we will be using uh, as we progress through this tutorial. Now, once that's set, what we want to do now is import our reference image. For this tutorial, I'll be using uh, an, an image of a car. So I'll just go to File and click on Place to go find an image. And I'm going to choose my car image here. And I'm just going to click on the canvas to place that image in there. And now I want to align this on the artboard. So I'll come over here to the Align menu. And where it says Align to, make sure you have Align to Artboard selected. And I'm just going to center it up vertic vertically and horizontally like that. And now what I want to do is I just want to bring down the opacity of this image a little bit because we want to be able to see what we're drawing on top of it without the image composition getting in the way of what we're drawing. So up here where it says Opacity, I'm going to take that, bring that down about in half or somewhere thereabouts. And over here in the Layers menu, I want to change the name of this from Layer 1 to um, Image. Press Enter. And I want to lock this layer so that I cannot alter it while I'm tracing on top of it. So I'm just going to click this little empty space right here to add a lock there. And now I can't, now I can't alter that layer. And what I want to do now is create a new layer on top of that for the tracing. So I'm going to click this little plus icon down here in the bottom right corner that says Create New Layer when you hover over it like that. Click on that, and I'm just going to change the name of this to tracing. And now we are good to get started. So what I want to do is let me zoom in on this a little bit. I'm going to hold alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. And what I want to do is I want to create lines going around the prominent defining areas of this image here. So to do this, I'm going to grab the pen tool, which is over here. But before we start drawing, I just want to set these the fill in color, the, the fill in stroke data over here. Uh, where it says, by default, when you open up Illustrator, you're going to have white fill and a black stroke. I just want to click this little red slash right here so we have no fill and a black stroke. That, those are the presets we're going to want to work with for now. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start tracing around the outside of this car right here. I'm going to zoom in over this left-hand side. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times. And, I, and with the pen tool selected, I'm going to click right here to create a point. And now you have this little line right here. And I'm going to take this little line and I'm going to bring it up here. And I'm going to click to create a point, but I'm not just going to click. I'm going to click and drag to give this line a curve. And I'm going to alter, I'm going to move my mouse around so that the line matches the curvature of the, uh, the body of the car there. And once I'm happy with how that looks, I'll just go ahead and let go. And then I can press enter on the keyboard to make that a line right there. And now I want to continue this line going around the rest of the outside of the image. So I'm going to click on this little node right here to continue the line. And I'm going to put this one right here. This is not going to be a precise tracing. I'm just going to do a very rudimentary tracing of this right there. And now I want to continue this up here. So I'm going to click and drag to create another curved line like that. Press Enter. And then I want to continue this line going over the top of the body of the car here. So let me click on that point to continue the line. Uh, I'll click and drag right here to give that a little dip to match the, uh, the back of the car there. Press Enter. Now I want to move the page over, so I'm just going to press down the space bar and click and drag so I can move the page over like that. I want to click this point to continue the line, bring this line over here like this, click and drag to give it a nice curvature like that. Press enter, come over here, continue the line right about there, click and drag like that, press enter. Don't worry about little dips and little corners here, we're going to go correct that in a minute. We're just creating a rudimentary outline for now. Uh, I'm going to continue this line, bring this in here, then put this here, and then finally click and drag right here to create this final curvature and press enter. And now we have our line going around the body of the car like that. 
So uh, what I want to do now is I just want to straighten out these uh, this line right here so it's a little more fluid. To do that, I'm going to come over here to the uh, direct selection tool and I'm going to click on that node right there. And I want to adjust, I just want to adjust this handle so that this line, this, this node right here is smooth and not cornered as you saw previously. I want to do the same thing with this node right here. If you notice, I don't have a handle to drag this one up with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the line. If you hover the cursor over the line, you'll notice the cursor icon changes to a solid black fill. Once you get that icon enabled, you can click and drag the line up like that to move it. And now you should have this little handle right here that you can adjust. And that's looking pretty good right there. I just want to adjust this some more. Maybe I'll put this over here. Maybe I'll adjust this line over here so I can get a little, I can get this handle. Come over here, adjust this like that. You'll have to make some tweaks to this. It takes, it takes a while to get this thing looking right. Let me adjust this. Maybe bring it out a little bit. And I'd say that's looking pretty good. Actually, no, I just gotta make one, one final adjustment over here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. That's nice and fluid now. So what we want to do now is we want to give this line like a brush stroke to make it look kind of like the style that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So to do that, let's grab the uh, selection tool and I want to click on the line to select it. And when you click on the line to select it like that, you'll get this little drop down right here where you can change the, uh, the style of the line. I want to use this shape right here. And then I want to make this thicker so we can actually see it. So I'm just going to, you can use this drop down right here to make the uh, stroke thicker. What I like to do is just hover the cursor over the box right there and just roll up the mouse wheel. And if you notice, it's making that line thicker like that. And as you can see, we have begun creating our uh, tracing here. So basically what I'm going to do now is just go through and continue this process for the rest of the uh, prominent defining areas of the image. So let me click off of that to deselect it. Let me go back to the pen tool. I'm going to create a line going right here for where the, uh, the window is. I'm going to start right here, come over here, Click and drag to create a, a line that matches the curvature of the uh, window there. Press enter and then continue this line up here. And go like that. There we go. And I press enter. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Go to the select tool, select the line, give it that shape, and then hover your cursor over the stroke size and just roll up the mouse wheel to make that thicker like that. Now I'm going to go back to the direct selection tool right here and I'm just going to adjust this a little bit so it's a little more fluid. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure the curvature of this line is matching the curvature of this line right here. So you may have to adjust this a little bit. You may have to click and drag and move these anchor points accordingly. That's looking pretty good right there. Now if at any point you want to zoom out and get a sense of how the image is looking, you can hold Alt to roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out. Let me click off of that to deselect it. And I'm just going to toggle off the visibility of the uh, image layer right here. And you can see how this is starting to shape up. Okay, so let me turn that back on. Let me zoom back in. Now I want to create the bottom portion of the body here. Let me go back to the, the pen tool. I'm going to start, I'm not going to trace the entire wheel well right here. I'm going to start about halfway at the top and then come down here, click and drag make that line match the uh, curvature of the wheel, wheel well as closely as possible. Press enter and then continue this line down here. Maybe give this a little bit of an upward dip like that. That looks pretty good. Press enter, go back to the select tool and uh, let's give this that shape. Same as we did before. There we go. Starting to look pretty good. Now I want to go back to the direct selection tool and just adjust this a little more. I'm going to click on this node right here see if we can adjust these handles, maybe move this up a little bit, maybe move this down here a little bit, change the curvature. I'm actually going to move this line a little bit so we get this little handle right here. There we go. That's what I'm going for. Maybe move this up a little bit, adjust this handle so that the curvature matches the wheel well. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to trace the door. So just click off of that to deselect it. Back to the pen tool and I'm going to trace the door right here. Click right here. Click right here. Then click and drag to create a curved line. Press enter. Continue the line going down here. Click and drag to make a curved line. Press enter. And then same thing right here. Right up here like that. 
And as you go through and do this, you may notice that your lines aren't exactly matching the lines of the image. That's okay. What's, what's most important is making sure that this makes sense as a logo once you're finished. You'll, you'll see what I mean. You want to make sure these lines aren't too close together. A, a logo typically needs to have a lot of uh, space between these lines. Otherwise, when you shrink it down, they'll kind of just run into each other and it won't be legible. So let me uh, go back to the select tool up here. Let me click on this line. Let me give this uh, our shape, increase the thickness of the stroke. And uh, this line isn't looking very smooth, so I'm going to go back to the uh, direct selection tool and make some adjustments here. Maybe go like that. Maybe adjust this line so we get this handle. Maybe bring this down here. Tweak that a bit. And I'd say this is looking pretty good. Yeah, that's looking good as it is. And this up here is looking pretty good as well. So uh, maybe I'll... Very, very minor tweaks that I'm making right here. Now I'm actually going to fix the bottom here because I want the curvature of this line to match the curvature of this line for some, uh, so we have some consistency here. So maybe I'll flatten this out a bit. And I, I don't like the thickness of this line. I think it's a little too thick. So I'm gonna, let me go back to the Select tool and just uh, decrease that a little bit. Now I just want to click off of it to deselect. Let me zoom out, see how it's looking. Turn off the visibility of the image layer. Looking pretty good. All we have to do now is create the wheels. So to create the wheels, what you can do is you can draw them manually with the pen tool like I did here. But what I like to do to get a more accurate result is use the uh, ellipse tool. So I'm going to come over here to where uh, we have the rectangle tool. Click and hold on that so we get this fly out menu. And I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. And let me zoom in over this right here. I want to place the cursor right in the middle of the wheel right there. And then click and drag and then hold shift and alt so that it creates a perfectly symmetrical circle from the center of where we clicked like that. Okay, now let me just grab the select tool. Let me move this down a little bit, just adjust the position of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off the bottom of this circle right here so we just have this partial circle. So let me grab the pen tool and I'm gonna hover the cursor right over the line right here. If you notice, you'll probably have a hard time seeing it on my screen, but, if, but when you do this on your screen, you'll probably see that as you hover the cursor over the line, the cursor will change to a plus sign. And once you see that plus sign, that means you can click right on the path to add a new anchor point in there. I'm going to come over here and add another anchor point on this side. And now what I want to do is break the path at these two anchor points so I can delete the bottom portion of the circle. So to do that, we'll come over here to the direct selection tool. I'm going to click on just this anchor point right here. And then I'm going to click this little scissor icon up here that says cut path at selected anchor points. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Click on that, cut path at selected anchor points. And now let me grab the select tool. Let me click off of it to deselect. And now you should be able to take just this bottom portion of the line and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And now we could take this line right here and apply our shape and the thickness as we did for the other lines like that. And you may have to grab the select tool and adjust where this is placed. Maybe even adjust the size. If you have to scale it down, just hold shift so that it locks the proportions like that. Let me zoom out, see how that looks. Looking pretty good. Now I want to create another wheel right here, but instead of repeating that process, you can just create a duplicate copy of this wheel right here. Let me make that a little thinner. That's better. To create a duplicate of this copy, just click and drag and then hold Shift and Alt so that it creates another copy and hold Shift and Alt while you're clicking and dragging to lock it onto the uh, horizontal axis like this. And right there, that looks pretty good. Now let me zoom out. Let me turn off the visibility of this layer to see how it's looking. Looking pretty good. I mean, I guess if you want to be meticulous, you can adjust the uh, curvature of the um, of the wheel well here to match this wheel a little better. But I'm not going to get into the details of that. If you want to do that, you can go ahead. I want to keep this relatively brief. And uh, I'm going to zoom out. And as you can see, we're looking pretty good. This is a pretty good tracing of the car here that could be used as a logo. So what you can do now, if you want, you can add some text down here. And if you want to, if you want to color this in and, and alter it further, uh, once you're finished, just click and drag over all of it and then go to Object, Path, and click on Outline Stroke. But before you click Outline Stroke, make sure you are 100% happy with how it looks because once you click Outline Stroke, you're not gonna be able to go back and adjust the thickness of the line. So make sure you're happy with how it looks. This is looking pretty good to me, in my opinion anyway. I'll click on that, and there we go. Now you can go ahead and color this in however you'd like. You can give this a dark shade of purple or whatever it is that you want to do. Go ahead and add some text. And then finally, what you can do is just click on the image layer and just press the uh, little trash can icon to delete that layer. Click yes. 
And there you go. That should do it for this lesson. That is how you can go about creating some uh, simple line tracing logos from images using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.